Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, unboxing video of a new uh, respirator that I purchased um, for using when doing a uh, paint stripping um, on my bike uh, restoration projects. So this respirator that I've got is from uh, 3M, um, pretty well known uh, manufacturer and I've got a half face mask and some uh, cartridge uh, filters which are suitable um, for um, filtering vapors from um, spray paints and paint strippers and so on. So here's the uh, various instructions and information on the back so you can pause while if you want to read that and there's the fitting instructions for these um, cartridges which connect with a bayonet um, connector into the face mask and this is the paint stripper that I'm um, going to be using in a future video. It contains uh, benzyl alcohol which is a uh, fairly common uh, organic uh, solvent. Um, I looked it up um, online and um, it said that these uh, cartridge filters were, were suitable for, for that. Here I'm just taking the respirator out of the bag. Well, out of the outer bag. And inside we have a 3M branded uh, bag. And instructions and things on. So this has got all the uh, information about the uh, about the mask. If you want to pause, you can read that. And then got. All warnings and things on the back and instructions for storage. Let's uh, go take it out of the bag and there's the respirator. So set the respirator to one side for now. Here we have a, um, some information about uh, which uh, combination of uh, different respirators and filters that you, use, that you need to use um, to get different levels of, of protection. So we have here the full instructions for uh, use of the uh, respirator. It's quite a sizable sheet because it's got all the, uh, quite a number of languages um, on it, um, as you would expect from a um, big international corporation like 3M. And it's very important that you know, safety information is uh, available in different languages. So I folded up the uh, instructions after after reading them. So let's have a look at the mask itself now. So it's made from. Um, so the dark bit is uh, is hard plastic, and we have a kind of a, a, a light grey rubber outer, which you know, forms to your face and and various straps. And you can see the bayonet uh, attachments on the side and in the middle is the um, exhalation valve. 
for when you breathe out. So when you inhale, it goes through the filters and the exhale through the central hole in the mask. So you've got a strap that goes on the top of your head and then this strap here goes around your neck and clips it in so it's all secure to your head. So we'll put that to one side. Right, let's have a look at the filters now. So these filters are just for vapors. They're not. Um, they're not for like um, particles. So if I was like spraying um, paint, I'd want to have some protection. Um, so I'd put like an additional filter on top. Um, inside, I've got a very um, large booklet. So again with instructions showing how to fit the different filters and then um, there's a different language on on each page so put those to one side and we've got this sealed um, packet with the cartridges inside and again more instructions So these filters, all, all, all filters have an um, expiration date, they need to be stored properly. Just tearing out, open this uh, sealed, sealed packet, you can see it's got a, um, a brown um, band on it that has like the expiration date um, printed on it and um, different instructions. And it corresponds with the um, with the box, just showing that it is the correct filter for um, for that mask. One important thing to bear in mind is that if your um, filters don't have all this information on. And expiration dates and things then they may not be genuine so here fitting fitting the filters so they just put on and rotate and they uh, snap into position it's quite a stiff fitting so they won't easily fall off there we go. Yeah. All right, let's see about trying it on. So here, just sorting out the the head strap. So this goes over the top and just goes on the crown of your head, so just round the back, like so. And then take the next strap and clip it. Clip that around your neck. And then, once that's done, use these adjustable straps to make it um, a snug, snug fitting, not too tight. And the dog is going crazy because the sound of the uh, the sound of breathing through the through the mask is very strange to her. She uh, thinks she thought I was uh, I was choking or, or suffocating, <laughs> so she was quite interested in, in that. So now we're testing as a fit, and to do that you do a positive pressure test. So you cover the exhalation valve with your hand and then you exhale gently and if you feel the mask kind of inflate um, but not but you don't feel any uh, any air escaping 
then that is a, a good fit. And here is just a close-up of, of the mask. Which I fitted. If you have a, a beard or something, you have to make sure it's uh, is trimmed so it fits neatly inside the uh, inside the mask. Otherwise, you won't get a proper seal. So, with that, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like and subscribe. Um, hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next uh, episode comes out. And until next time, bye for now.